Hey guys, what's going on? Lucky here. So, um, quick walk around the shop. Brian's Mustang is getting loved this week. I think it's going to be making noise this week. The Benzo, I built some oil AC lines for it the other day. Had some prehistoric, I don't know, leather wrap stuff in there. No good. What you're looking at right there, though, is the rocker for the driver's side and the fender flare for the passenger side, which are the last two pieces of cladding that I've been hunting high and low for. Found them on OfferUp, a guy named Jerry. Great deal. Introduced me to a guy named Oz who actually makes this stuff. Ends up, he's right down the street. I put a little short video on my Instagram. Um, Mobile Tech Lucky on Instagram. And uh, um, I'm driving over there to get it. It just happened to be a friggin' typhoon. I had to drive through to get there. And then when he comes walking out with the stuff, it was just like a torrential downpour. We both like friggin' showered. Uh, either way, got those. Gonna get them prepped, painted black. Um, probably just gonna rattle can these things. But uh, the paint that we use is actually really good. And once again, I'm not building a show car here. I'm just building a fun car. Sticking with the white doors. I'm liking it. Um, put a starter motor in it yesterday. Uh, got the heat exchanger in there, plumbed up. Got to do a couple small things to that. Um, intercooler, I don't know, you probably can't see, but the intercooler is installed up there. Either way, um, it's been actually a really good week, and it's only like Wednesday or something right now, or maybe it's Thursday. I do not know. Power Tour's got me all backwards. Did Power Tour West. Um, Joey Chevelle drove my C10 because his Chevelle wasn't done yet. And uh, I drove my Chevelle, and we did the Power Tour West. It was a great time, met lots of fun people. I did a podcast uh, with John McGann and Brian Loans, a couple of my favorite people on the planet. Um, it's called Hot Pod because it's Hot Rod Podcast. You see the magic there? These guys are true professionals. Uh, did that. That was a good time. I don't know where it's going to air. I'm sure it's on some podcast thing somewhere. I'll probably never hear it. But uh, a lot of stuff was talked about. It was a full hour at least. It seemed short. I don't think I shut up at all. It was still a ton of fun. And uh, there's lots of behind the scenes going on there too. Lots of stuff that I don't generally talk about. So yeah, those are a couple of good characters to be hanging out with. And uh, finding out stuff about. Which I don't know how comfortable that one is. Uh, eh, it's kind of weird. Either way, um, back at the shop. Getting stuff straightened out. Lots of stuff going on at the other spot. But UPS finally, I've been waiting for this box for a long time. I gotta be careful not to show my address. Let me get this right here off. Get rid of the evidence. So this is from Delta Pack, which is a company that does cooling systems. Or Delta Pag. It does uh, cooling systems, uh, as I like to call them, cooling modules. Uh, let me put it up here on this thingy, my bobber. Hold on. Uh. So, uh, yeah, it's a box. Got me a box. Let me find a shank. Uh, this will work as a shank. Oh, there's a drill bit right there I was looking for. Um, this is, in my opinion, the coolest radiator money can buy. Uh, they're not inexpensive, but there's a reason for that. And that's because they are engineered for each application and uh, pretty much the best of everything going on right here. Oh, did I score a hat? I most definitely did. Check that out. I already came up. Um, I guess I should have opened it down there. All right. Safely packed. I like that. I like that. I bought something on... Uh, offer up the other day and it showed up here and it was damaged in the box so i appreciate the safe packing okay hold on oh yes okay and delicately flip it over you guys are not going to bleed this when you see it okay so here's the deal i run a supercharged car because boost is your friend in addition to having a supercharged car you can't just put a supercharger on. You gotta figure out some way to cool the charge. I like air to water, just because air to air tends to want to heat soak. Um, takes too long to cool down. Air to water, however, if you have an efficient 
heat exchanger, it's gonna cool down a lot faster. Um, proof of that would be LS Fest West. I literally was just running laps in my car and I never got over normal operating temperature and ran decent. Belt was slipping, didn't make a lot of boost, but you get my point. Anyway, so um, delicately remove this. Hold on, this is an operation. What is going on here? Man, are you ready? This is exciting. Um, all right, let me just go for it. All right, there it is right there. This is my first look at it. This is amazing. All right, so let me give you the hoe down. 12 volts ground trigger. I have to read the schematic on what the other one is. Oh, it says it right there. Battery, constant ground, 12 volt ignition, and auxiliary on. Trinary switch, that's for the AC. Okay, now what you're looking at here is a super efficient radiator core. Sensor built in to drain the radiator. What is this? What is this, you ask? This lower section is the heat exchanger for the supercharger. A couple of dash 12s right here, plumbed in and out of the reservoir and then to the supercharger allow me to not have a bunch of stuff in front of this. The only thing that will be in front of this is the AC condenser. Um, these are brushless fans, soft start. Basically when they see voltage or a trigger tells them to turn on via these control modules right here. They, uh, let me just follow the gray. Yeah, processor up there. Oh, man, I wanna power this thing up. Little touch screen, pro or little uh, digital readout processor. Uh, for variable speeds and everything. Dual relays. I bet you this is fuses right here. Yeah. Is that fuses? No oh, breakers. Nice. Sweet. So, uh, like I said, these things come on variable speed. They soft start only at the correct temperature. They don't just all of a sudden click full voltage. That's generally what kills relays. It's generally what kills fans, kills charging systems, kills batteries, is the shock to the system. So this comes on soft. So that is definitely cool. Man, I'm jazzed. So this thing is custom made. Oh, here's the other deal too, is the radiator is actually thinner than the normal one, and which allows you to run the larger fan. This whole module is pretty thick but not as thick as you would think. All right, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna be getting this in the car pretty soon. I'm torn between, uh, this is spec'd out for the Chevelle. However, um, I have another Chevelle over there and uh, the specs on this will allow it to go in pretty much any of my cars. So, uh, yeah, life is pretty good. I'm jazzed on that. Uh, Delta Pag, you hook me up. If you guys are looking for a cooling system that is beyond efficient, this is who you want to deal with right here. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, Feel free to share the video. Feel free to leave a comment, uh, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm really gonna start pumping some videos out eventually. Um, I don't know exactly when, but I'm gonna try and do a little bit more consistent. And uh, that's it. Thanks a lot, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.